Alright trainers, it is time to continue our adventure here in the Galar region. And if you said Charizard for the answer to the previous quiz question, you were right. So, we'll have today's quiz question once again for you at the end of this episode. And, uh, now, uh, and this episode, by the way, uh, for today's episode, our objective is going to be to get our first gym badge right in that stadium. Yeah, as you can tell by that little dialogue, I did uh, do this little cut scene uh, off screen where he said I had to find Sonya on a hill somewhere. But, uh, but then I saved, but then I healed after that and saved and then turned the game off. So, not really too much. Uh, off camera because with these games I want to do as much stuff on screen as I can or try to anyway and we gotta follow this yamper here alright uh, let's go down here and grab this item really quickly and Three X attacks, which could definitely help. And there is Sonya. I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. So that geoglyph, what do you think of it? Dynamax? Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be coincidence. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was that black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? Guess I'm lucky lady who will be looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a lead card. And we get the lead card for Milo. Which, uh, we're actually about to fight in a few minutes. And this fight will go extremely easy for us if we have Fire Flung or Bug Type moves. Who's she saying? And taking a look at our Pokemon team really quickly. Uh, we do not have any fire or bug type attacks on us, but we do have a flying type. And before we go into Turkey and Steam, I'm going to use the YCOM and try and do a surprise trade here with... This Choodle that I received in a previous trade. So, now, let's get on over to the stadium. And get ready to take on our first gym here in the Galar region. And there's Hawk. Take a look at this, Mark. The Grass Gym Batch. I got it in one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wulu. I've had plenty of practice at it after all. But I'm sure you can win this one too. After all, you are my rival. buy anything, but I think I'm good on stuff right now as it is. Let's talk to this person here. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Allow me to help you for your registration. How about I quit refresh? Your goal as a Gym Challenger is to complete each gym mission, defeat every gym leader, and gather eight gym badges. So, do I like to attempt the gym mission? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Essentially, gym missions are little side quests that have to be completed before we can actually take on the gym leader. And you do those side quests inside the actual gym itself. So we're going to change into our uniform.
And now we're going to find out what we have to do uh, for this particular gym mission. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. To so that blockade we've made from our bales of straw over there. By the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee and it's also my job to report the results of battles to League HQ. Let the gym mission begin. Alright, so we have to get these Wooloo onto, onto that pad uh, right there in front of us. And have them, and, uh, and once we get all 20 of them in there, then they'll crash the bale of hay and we can proceed. That process then has to be repeated a couple more times before we can actually fight the gym leader. So here we go. Alright, that's. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, hold on. Uh, Wooloo, where are you going? Alright, so those ones are locked in. Now we just gotta get the last three up here. And there. Now, this portion is going to be a bit more difficult because we've got a bit of a yamper in here, so we have to work our way around it. And, oh, look at that, we got all 20 in there at once. So theoretically, we could just proceed right away, but we are actually going to take on this gym trainer first before we do that. So when it comes to Pokemon games, I generally like to uh, battle as many as trainers as possible so I can get as much experience as possible. Alright, so this gym challenger, or gym trainer rather, has a level 19, or level 16 Gossipler on him. Rapid spin, which will increase Gossipler's speed. And Peck. Okay. And Gossipler is his only Pokemon. very nicely. play here is each of the gyms are going to have their own separate episodes. And seeing how this is the very first gym mission that we have to do in here is fairly easy. Squire out or Dart Wing. Now as he sends out his level 17 Oddish.
and Dart wins at level 20, Roly Coley at level 17, Gossifler getting close to level, getting close to level 17. And now there's two Yampers in here instead of just one. Come on, Lulu. There we go, those are locked in. And before I grab the other ones, we're going to take on this gym trainer right here. Gym trainer Leah. And one pluck. We'll send Bond Sweet packing, or plucking, as the case may be. Poison powder, uh oh. That is not a good sign. Alright, before I progress any further, uh, I am going to use an antidote here on, on Dartwing. And now we're going to get the rest of the Wulu. Okay, only one stubborn little one left here. There you are. Come on. Come join your friends. And the will go in their own separate pens. Half on one side, half on the other side, and now we can go ahead and take on the gym leader. Who we met at the end of the last episode. Let's go ahead and make our way into the stadium. My gym is the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging, but I didn't stop from completing it. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. Challenged by gym leader Milo. 
Let's start with Gossifler. Alright. I'm not going to Dynamax yet. I'm actually going to leave that for his, la for his second and final Pokemon. That way he can be a full battle, setting battle Dynamax and Pokemon. Dynamax Pokemon. So his Gossip Floor is down for the count. Now he's going to bring out his Eldegoss. Uh, we'll go with Max, with Dynamax, we'll go with Max Airstream. Same thing. Turns that I'm permitted with Dynamaxing. Ooh, close one. One more Max Airstream. It's still faster. Good. And that is going to take out his Eldegoss, as humongous as that is. And both Kermit and Dartwing level up. And Roly Coley's pretty close to leveling up. As proof you've defeated a gym leader, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. And we got our first badge in the gallery, Jen! We can now catch Pokemon up to level 25. And we get the TM for Magical Leaf. So, our next stop, according to Milo, is in Holbury to meet Nessa. Holbury's just beyond Route 5. Or, since you've got the Grass Badge, you could head to the Wild Area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are higher level than Pokemon on your team, but they make powerful, al powerful allies if you succeed. Well, I have, did want to spend an entire episode didn't mention earlier that I wanted to spend an entire episode in the wild area, so I think we are going to go ahead and and spend the next episode specifically in that area. But first, we're going to heal up.
And we can buy some more stuff now. Let's get some great balls. Uh, ten should do. And we'll get three super potions. Alright, so I am going to hop a Corviknight taxi, and I will meet you in the wild area in the next episode.